Now, Joey Chestnut won his 14th Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Competition on Sunday, setting a world record by eating 76 hot dogs and buns in 10 minutes. To do so, he literally stretched his stomach to a size that's hard for us to imagine. He ate 10 days' worth of calories in 10 minutes. Now, I mention this because recently I was interviewing an obesity specialist for a completely different story, but I just couldn't resist the chance to ask her for her thoughts on the contest and on competitive eating in general. Now, mind you, she said she's never seen it, but she probably won't be surprised to hear what she thought about it. I just nod my head <laughs> in disappointment. I understand the social aspect of it. Um, when people have these type of food festivals and have these contests, um, but as a clinician, um, I always wonder why. But regardless of whether it's a good idea, I did ask Dr. Devika Umashankar of Hartford Healthcare whether there's something we can all learn from watching a person push their stomach to its limit, the same way we can learn about exercise physiology by studying ultramarathon runners. Her answer? Yes. I think there's so much to be learned on the hormonal processes that are produced not only from the stomach, but also from the small intestine and large intestines that impacts levels of satiety, levels of fullness. Well, what about bariatric surgery, which in many cases is physically reducing the size of the stomach to stop people from being able to eat so much? If a competitive eater can stretch a stomach like a balloon, is that why some bariatric surgery patients regain lots of weight? I have seen patients who've had, for example, the sleeve gastrectomy, um, and they have regained a hundred pound of weight loss that they've achieved. They've gone back to the bariatric surgeons, and when they do the imaging to see has their stomach expanded, the answer is no. But she did say hormones play a big role in the process, which leads me, I guess, to the one takeaway we can get from this story. Uh, she did say eating a lot of high-fat foods can change your appetite's regulating system in your body to increase cravings and feelings of hunger. So, in other words, it's not just about how full your stomach is. Keep that in mind. All right, it's 827. Coming up.